This was Blue's first game since the departure of coach Phil Davies with Paul John and Dale McIntosh taking charge on a temporary basis. With just one win in their last nine league games, the new men at the helm were happy to welcome back internationals Gethin Jenkins, Alex Cuthbert and for the first time since October centre Corey Allen. The big derby match drew a crowd of almost 9,000 to the Liberty Stadium despite the inclement weather. Osprey started the evening in the playoff places, fourth in the table, and with a record of five wins on the trot against Blues in this competition. It was the home side who totally dominated the early exchanges, and they made the inevitable breakthrough in the tenth minute. Alan Wynne Jones to Reese Webb to Dan Bigger. And Ashley Beck had two men outside but didn't need them as he dived over for his third try in his last four games for Ospreys. It was no more than the home side deserved with Blues struggling to hold out the men in black. And Bigger, who was involved in the build-up for the try, then rounded things off with a fine conversion for 7-0 after 10 minutes. Gareth Davies replied with a 13th-minute penalty for Blues on a rare excursion into the opposition half, but it wasn't long before Osprey stretched their lead with a good opportunist score. With Cardiff defending on the edge of their 22, Webb slotted a little kick in behind, and Isaiah Nitonga did very well to flick it on and score the second try of the game. Great footwork from both Webb and Natonga in the lead-up to that try. But Blues' new coaching team will be a bit disappointed with how they defended the situation. Bigger missed the conversion, but it was 12 points to three with 16 minutes gone. At the midway point in the half, a second Davies penalty kept Blues in touch for 12-6. And as the rain hammered down, another long-range Davies effort went over albeit off the upright, but importantly for Cardiff, the flags were raised and it was back to 12-9. However, Ospreys definitely posed much more of a threat when on the attack and they notched their third try of the game just short of the half-hour mark. Watch for brilliant quick hands from the fullback Sam Davies to find Natonga on the wing and the Fijian international was over for his second try of the evening. A lovely score from Ospreys with Davies' killer pass to Natonga the highlight and although Bigger was off target with the conversion, Ospreys had a 17-9 lead, and that's how it stayed until the half-time break. Eight minutes after the restart, Ospreys clinched the bonus point with a fourth try of the game, and Reese Webb getting over from close range in a ruck of bodies. Referee Nigel Owens asked for confirmation from the TMO Derek Bevan. Between them, they eventually came to the decision that it was a try. Derek. Hello, Nigel. Any reason why I can't award the try? Any reason why yeah, you can't award the try? because he was on his try. back on the line, so there was no double movement or holding on. Nigel. Hello, Derek. There is no reason I can't give you that you cannot award the try. There's no reason why I can't award the try. That means I can award the try. That is it. So the bonus point was in the bag with over half an hour to play and Bigger converted to put Ospreys 24-9 ahead. He added a penalty soon after for 27-9. Then 10 minutes from time, Ospreys iced the cake with a fifth try and it was the flying Fijian who did the damage again. When the ball was fed to Natonga on the wing, he still had plenty to do, but despite coming under pressure from the defender, he got the touchdown. When the TMO reviewed the action, he confirmed that the score was good. Natonga with a hat-trick of tries on a man-of-the-match night for him. Bigger put the conversion over, and it was 34 points to 9 for Steve Tandy's side. Osprey's work was done, and Blues had no response. Cardiff winger Harry Robinson picked up a late injury to add to their woes. As the full-time whistle blew, Ospreys could celebrate a thoroughly deserved victory in this Welsh derby. They consolidate their place in the playoff zone and take on fifth-placed Glasgow next time. Blues face Ulster next Saturday. Final score, Ospreys 34, Cardiff Blues 9.